every Thursday we will try to very quickly review the general chemistry lecture material, okay? We won't have time for all of the details and we won't have time for the practices. We will do the practices of general chemistry chapters after we have finished organic chemistry and biochemistry, um, both in the lectures with Dr. Mehran and in the practices with me. Then we'll start reviewing entire chemistry from the beginning, just the practice, okay? And I will start with the alphabet, basically, of general chemistry that you should know in order to understand and answer questions and be able to discuss any further concepts in the later chapters. But my question is, so I would start at the very beginning with a very boring, long task of just writing up the name and formula of all of the molecules and ions that you have to memorize in order to be able to study any further chapters in general chemistry. Should we do that? Or does everybody already know all of the names and structures? No. We should write it? No. no? Everyone agrees? Can we skip it? Yes. Do you think we should write it or skip it? Okay, if even one person needs it, then we'll do it. So let's start with a long list. Please write with me. At the end, you can also take a picture, but writing it is not only important that you have it in your notebook, it's the only way that you will be able to memorize it, okay? So the first thing you have to memorize is that there are some elements. Maybe I will draw a periodic table because it's best if you memorize the elements right in the position of the periodic table, okay? Remember, please, the periodic table has four main parts. There are the first two columns, the first two groups, group 1A, group 2A. You draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven periods for the first group. Okay, so now come the elements that you should know by heart, okay? The first one is hydrogen. The second element is helium. So these are the first four noble gases. Please memorize their names and their symbols. Let's look at the halogens. We have fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Then in the fifth group, again, there are two non-metal elements you should memorize, nitrogen and phosphorus. And we are done with the non-metals, okay? These are the non-metals. Please memorize the symbol, the name, and their position in the periodic table. Which group, which period?